All right, guys, we got some uh, questions about Mercury Detox. Most of these are from my, um, well, actually, all of them are from my YouTube page. And for some reason, YouTube won't let me comment like it used to, so or reply to comments. So I'm just going to answer these in a video because other people might have these questions anyways. Um, so first question, this is a guy named Roger. Dr. Bonilla, I have questions about clothing and mercury. I've been wearing the same clothing that I had during my detoxification. Will mercury wash out of the clothing, or does it stay even after washing dozens of times? I go through periods of breakouts of skin rashes and such, which I have read. This is the process of mercury detox. I've been I have been chelating for four months now. I feel so much better. However, I am concerned about the clothing and reintroducing it through my skin. Any answer would be appreciated. Okay. So the first part of that question was about his clothing, and, and he says he had been wearing the same clothing that he had during my toxification. I don't know if that meant that he had it clothing when he was mercury toxic, and now he's getting it rid, getting rid of it. Personally, you know, that I don't. There's not like a a study or a paper on this. I really highly doubt it. But I wouldn't be too worried about uh, something like that as your source of mercury. If you think about uh, people that are mercury toxic and how that happens, these are people that have had it drilled into their head. These are people that have had, are getting it from contaminated seafood, which has, you know, uh, certain times uh, really high concentrations. It builds up in the food chain, so it can go through, it takes many iterations to even get to those concentrations, or from um, from other sources of pretty severe pollution. Think about maybe working in a dentist's office. If you worked in a dentist's office, I think there might be mercury vapors that can get on your clothes all the time and start to affect you. But if you just were a mercury toxic person, um, I wouldn't think that your clothing would be such a significant factor. I would think that would wash out. It's really the the big things that we have to uh, watch out for, it's like those things I mentioned before. And all these questions I've noticed, there's sort of a theme there. Kind of the idea is he's worried about, you know, this very minor source of potential tox uh, mercury toxicity um, when there's so much big picture stuff to worry about. He's chelating still. When people say they have, um, he has skin issues, people that do functional medicine or people that are into what's called um, uh, sort of like a, a nutritional hygiene sort of uh, thing, we look, at, we look at those as a lot of um, toxicity issues and especially gut issues. And we know that uh, mercury primarily is a toxicity issue and we know that it um, has a devastating effect on the gut. So I would say take care of your toxicity issues, address the gut health in that order. And um, I would expect that skin, a lot of skin issues can resolve. Yeah, that's my expectations there. The next question is from uh, Alexandra. She says, my mercury levels were a six in the blood and have decreased to a four after several detoxes. I don't know what blood test she's talking about, but the idea, I guess, is that it's decreasing. I'm wondering how long it will take to get rid of it with this detox. My tooth fillings have been removed and I do not consume fish except occasionally. And here, kind of another thing that's happening, she, she obviously sees that her, she's doing some process to uh, remove, tox, uh, remove mercury and seeing that her levels are decreasing. But she wants to know how long it will take to get rid of it. And then actually, I'll just go ahead and read the next question. Uh, what, what these are, these are comments on a video where I uh, was introducing uh, the, Merc the, the Quicksilver 90 day detox. And some guy wants to know how did it go. Um, so both these people are kind of uh, like, are you done, you know, are we done, when are you done detoxing mercury? And the, the truth is, I don't ever consider detoxing done. It's something like, you know, cleaning your house. Maybe you, have, you go out and you have a week, you know, weekend spring clean and you, you might have a good result from that. But really, you're never done cleaning the house. And that's how I feel about um, detoxing in general. I think it's, it's part of my life. So I'll do this Quicksilver 90-day detox. It, was, it went well, I, but I wasn't doing it because I um, was having problems and then I expected this to be the end of it. I just do it as part of my regular life and it's actually um, been something I've been doing since I was a teenager now. Um, so how did it go? Well, it went great, but it, all detoxes to me are valuable. And just like when you clean house, there's different types of cleaning house. You might have to do dishes or vacuum or clean the rain gutters or, you know, there's a lot of different types of cleaning house. There's a lot of different types of detox. Um, one thing I do like about the, the mercury detox cube that we talk about in this video is that it kind of handles the whole, uh, a whole particular stream of things that need to happen to get mercury out of the body. And that's wonderful. But 
I also think that in between doing things like that, that you should be doing, um, looking regularly to doing different types of detoxes, which, which I'll talk about in different videos, um, and not thinking of it as like an event and saying, oh, I have toxicity and I want to be done. I want to, I want to get rid of it. Like you solve it like a problem, like doing your taxes and then you're done because you're not really done with taxes. They like keep coming up, right? Same thing with toxicity. As long as we're alive, living in this world, I don't think there's actually one person on this planet Earth now that uh, doesn't have um, some effects of our whole chemical industrial revolution um, affecting the body in some in some sense of toxicity, and that's okay. The idea is also not to be paranoid about, um, you know, when will I get rid of, you know, the, the toxicity that was on my clothes six months ago. It's not about being perfect. Our bodies are really resilient. They're really amazing. It's only when this levels of abuse that we're seeing the detrimental effects. If you are able to uh, incorporate uh, good quality detoxification on a regular basis um, and with occasional, you know, more extreme measures like with, with the mercury detox kit here, um, I think that's a healthier attitude. The attitude of trying to be ultra pure and get every toxin out of your body is unreasonable. Um, I almost think that it's an unhealthy mentality and it's not really what you're going for. You're going for optimal health and um, optimal health really is, is, is a whole plethora of things that go around it. And removing toxins from your body is just a regular thing that humans do anyways. We always exhale, we, we go to the bathroom, uh, you know, every day, hopefully. It's, it's a natural function of our body, so we do want to encourage it, and especially in a, in a toxic age, we want to maximize the efficiency of it. But to try to think of, uh, of it as having some sort of end point where you need to get to this race to this end it's not it's it's a process and it's a process of your life and um, just like I wouldn't think about it. if I wanted to reach some sort of fitness I wouldn't try to exercise and say okay did it work did it work no you you do it and if, as long as you keep it a part of your life it works so um, I hope these um, kind of answered the question but really gave you a more bigger picture of um, yes will this stuff get rid of mercury in your body yes you can in, in 90 days you can get rid of years worth of junk and that's really a good way to catch up because I think most people are probably years behind in detoxing. We, we know that um, we're born these days with toxins in cord blood. There's an environmental working group has lots of, um, lots of documentation studies on that. And um, you can't get away from it. So all you can do is keep up with it. And when I recommend these really big detoxes or cleanse or some particular thing, it's just a way of catching up. It's just doing our spring cleaning, uh, you know, going through the garage, taking out all the old junk and making it look new again, even though you know next year you might have to go through and do a little bit of cleaning as well. So um, I hope you guys are having good detoxes. Do smart detoxes. Don't do stupid stuff. And uh, I'll try to make more videos so I can teach you or I can help you make a, an intelligent decision of what that means. And uh, if you guys have questions, please let me know. And as you can see, I like to respond to them. I'll talk to you soon.